is the man behind the blog. Charles LeBlanc's blog gets about 500 hits every day. Charles has made quite a name for himself in New Brunswick. He was arrested in St. John three years ago. He was banned from the legislature three years ago. But he is most famous for his blog. Charles spends his days roaming the streets of Fredericton with his digital camera. Afterwards, he returns to his small apartment and uploads everything to his blog. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna blog. Okay, I'm gonna blog it. As an activist, Charles blogs about many serious issues, like the struggle against homelessness in Fredericton and many political issues. Salvois, Pat O'Brien. What does this mean? Continue your good work for the poor and the people without, with no voices. You know what? You get a priest that sends you such a nice card and a message. You know what? I'm not a born-again freak, but you move. And Well, I knew there was something wrong with me, but I didn't know what, what it was. I found out about 10 years ago that I have ADHD. Now, now I was so happy. I mean, uh, that was just like a million tons of steel that let go of my uh, shoulders. I wrote about 500 letters printed in the Irving paper. I was very well known for my views. And uh, this was letters to the editor. I remember I was working for Irving. and. Uh, I was writing bad letters against the Irvings, supporting letters against the Irving people, wondering, don't you know who your bosses are? Even the Irvings respected me. They didn't know who the hell I was at first, and I met them. They all know me by my first name. And uh, so then I was well known because it was the ADHD in action, and plus me mother is from Glasgow, Scotland. I'm half Scottish. There's nothing more stubborn than a damn Scotchman. So then I turn around. Um, I found uh, the Irving did a big story on me. My picture was on the front page. Charles LeBlanc deals with ADHD. Then I receive about 40, 50 phone calls from parents on the phone crying how their kids were treated in the school system. George Pierce is the executive director of the Fredericton Community Kitchen, which has helped Charles during his years in the city. Charles now helps out at the community kitchen. He'll drop in when we're really short of volunteers and pitch in, and when his ADH pitches in, he can do the whole dish line by himself. Charles is in a unique situation. He has ADHD and is on social assistance. He has no post-secondary education, but he manages to run a very popular website. So, a per what is a person on social assistant doing with a camera? A computer, a, uh, a whoops, a sterno hard drive, two hundred bucks. How can I afford all this? I never paid for it. Right there, two weeks ago, uh, three months ago, somebody bought me this camera. Nice camera. So then I turn around. One day, about three weeks ago, my lens was stuck. So I bought it at, uh, at, at, at uh, Future Shop to have it fixed. So I went on my blog and I said, no more pictures. Next thing you know, I get an email from somebody, a stranger I don't even know, met me in the secret location. I had no blogger hat or blogger jacket. I was dressed in black. And gave me a brand new camera, the same one. Now, he said that I could have something more expensive. I said, no, 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 I'm not greedy. This will be fine. LeBlanc says he does not want to find a job. Blogging is what he wants to do. But it's taking its toll on him. So, yes, I'm a social assistant. It gets depressing sometimes. But when you have message like the priest to keep on fighting for the poor and people without a voice, and you get strangers give you an external drive, you get strangers giving you a computer, strangers coming with a camera, uh, that keeps me going. Charles was banned from the legislature three years ago. I see stuff in there that they don't want the public to see. Here in New Brunswick, the media is so small, so tiny. And the media, I'm not condemning the media, but they're, they're a busy bunch. 
So then there's an accident down the road, there's a murder here, they gotta run there. You got a blogger that's in there that sees stuff. And plus there's citizen that comes here with their concern that the media will not cover the issue. If I'm there, I can, I can cover their concern. And I don't think the government wants bloggers, especially pain in the butt bloggers like myself in there. LeBlanc goes to the farmer's market most weekends. He says it's mostly a social event, but he always seems to find a story. I would love to see Sean Graham or any politicians. Joan Labillowa has never heard of a blog. What do you think of, of bloggers? You know bloggers? 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 You already hear that Oh, that's term? on the computer? Yeah. No bloggers? No, no bloggers. I don't, uh, I don't even have a laptop. You don't even have a laptop? I don't even have a laptop. Do you have a computer? At work, yeah. Work. Well, I've heard of the blogs. I think that's where they put all their personal info on. Or? It's a diary. A diary? Why would they want to put a diary on so everybody could read? Because they're, they're lonely. They want attention. Well, they got to find another hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Some journalists support what Charles is doing. Others don't. Guys, uh, these are two Irving employees, and uh, we're late to... Uh... No, don't, don't run oh, away. Charles, I... Don't run away. Don't run away. Come on, come on, come on. Let's have some fun here. No, no, I, uh, Let's have some fun. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, guys. We just want to have some fun. Come on. No, no, come on. Gonna, I'll be I nice. Get going. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. We have to get going anyway. Shane Barrett, right? No. Name again? No, I forgot. Name again. Bowie, right. Bowie, Adam, Adam. David. Despite what most oh, people think, <laughs> LeBlanc likes the Irvings. His real issue has to do with the media in general. They shouldn't be afraid, but Irving owns all the newspapers in this province. And they're afraid to be caught with me, so they might lose their job. And if you're a journalist in New Brunswick and you lose your job, you've got nowhere to go. And that's sad. That's what I'm concerned about. You know, I mean, they can't write negative stories against the Irvings because they would be out of a job. And that's scary. Thank God. The only way true journalism these days in newspapers is blogging. And that's what I do. This is why Charles likes to have a blog. He likes the option for people to comment on his work. People often will discuss issues back and forth. Most of Charles's posts have well, several it's comments. It's going to happen one of these days. Somebody's going to say, enough is enough. But I'm on social assistant. What are they going to get from me? I ask the questions. Uh, there's a lot of People approach me with some uh, personal stuff, politicians. I look at them, I say, excuse me, do you think I'm the national uh, uh, inquirer? I said, no, there's some stuff I will not blog. But my main point is to start a debate, debate the issues. Jacques Poitra is a CBC journalist. He realizes the strengths and weaknesses of the blogging world. Now, there's elements of journalism to what he does, and there are elements to what he does that aren't journalism, or that aren't conventional journalism. And so, to, I don't know about calling him a journalist. Uh, some of what he does is journalism, and in that sense, I think it's great that he's doing it, um, because I like to have all those voices in the mix. Some of what he does isn't journalism, and so when you get into things like, is, you know, is he a journalist by the definition of the press gallery at the legislature, and does he have the right to be a member of the press gallery? He doesn't really fit in that definition, but um, but there's there's some journalism there in what he does. Charles also likes to have fun with his blog. This is an entry called "Some People Just Can't Park," and when given a microphone, LeBlanc will ask questions <laughs> like <a> this: <laughs> when I blog that you don't have no cheese. When, when are you going to have some cheese here? Cheese? Mm. You have to ask the big boss there. Oh, sorry, I'll leave him alone. When, when are we going to have some cheese here? Cheese? Yeah, cheese. I, I, I bought a cow, and pretty soon she has a calf, and then I start milking, and then we have cheese. Uh, I now, would say another month or a month and a half. 2013? Uh, 10. 10, 2010. And yeah. bring your own cheese like I did last week? Yeah, it's the very best. <laughs>